Welcome to this episode of Sykes Now Learning Hub, Introduction to LCMS Series. In this episode, we will talk about source parameters and how they should be set optimally. Let's first examine the technical setup of Sykes Electrospray ion sources that enables the electrospray process. The LC liquid enters through the electrode, which is embedded into the probe. When the electrospray voltage is applied, the spray of bigger droplets is visible at the end of the electrode. The process is supported by different gas flows. Ion source gas 1 flows in the same direction as the LC flow, between the inner wall of the probe and the outer surface of the electrode. Ion source gas 2 is directed towards the spray and heated by the heaters. All SIEX ion sources feature an orthogonal design where the electrode and the entrance to the mass spectrometer are positioned at a 90-degree angle to each other, as illustrated. The droplets undergo the Coulomb explosions, and the bigger droplets can be removed easily due to the design of the source. The process is further supported by the curtain gas, which flows between the curtain and the orifice plate towards the entering ions. As illustrated here, ions experience a pressure gradient during their transition from ionization at atmospheric pressure to entry into the mass analyzer, which operates at approximately 10 microtor. It is essential to optimize the source parameters specific to your analysis. Set the values of ion source gases 1 and 2 to optimally support the evaporation of the droplets. If set too high, the droplets will be blown away. The curtain gas is an important parameter that prevents system contamination. It should be set as high as possible without significant loss of sensitivity. The source temperature defines the temperature with which ion source gas 2 is heated. Ultimately, the entire source will reach this temperature. The heat also facilitates the evaporation of droplets. However, if the temperature is set too high, there is a risk of thermal degradation of your analytes. The spray voltage is applied between the electrode and the entrance of the mass analyzer and should be set in a way that you will have good spray quality. If set too low, the electrospray process is not initiated. If set too high, you can observe corona discharge, resulting in poor spray quality and damage of the electrode. What factors influence the optimal source parameters? They are mainly found in the flow rate and the composition of the LC solvent. As the LC flow rate entering the ion source increases, a greater amount of energy is required to evaporate the solvent. Consequently, the optimal values for the source temperature and the ion source gases 1 and 2 tend to be higher at increased flow rates. In addition, the curtain gas pressure must be increased at higher flow rates to effectively prevent larger remaining droplets from entering the mass analyzer. The amount of energy needed to optimally evaporate the LC solvent depends on the composition of the LC flow. As the content of organic solvent increases, less energy is needed for evaporation. This means that the source temperature and ion source gas 1 and 2 need to be lower, the more organic solvent is entering the ion source. Additionally, less curtain gas is required, since fewer larger droplets need to be prevented from entering the mass analyzer. When performing a gradient LC method, you need to make sure that your source parameters give optimal performance over the entire gradient. Optimizing source parameters therefore always involves a compromise and thus it is essential to avoid using pure organic solvents during this process. Later, when gradient dilution is used, the performance of the source parameters in the more aqueous retention phase should be verified. Thank you for watching this episode. To view the full training course, including progress checks and a final quiz to earn a certificate, go to SciEx.com. Log in today to take advantage of the highly rated training material offered in the SciEx Now Learning Hub. 
you can use the links below.